Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with input elements. Our viewer is curious about how to trigger an event or detect the end of the one change event for an input type range. Let's dive into the details. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To trigger an event at the end of the onChange event for an input type range, we need to understand how the onChange event works. The onChange event is fired when the user has finished changing the value of an input. In your current code, the one change event is logging the value every time it changes while dragging. To capture the final value after the user releases the slider, we can use the mouse up event in combination with the on change event. Here's how you can modify your code. First, we will listen for the mouse up event on the slider. Then we will log the value of the slider when the mouse up event occurs. This way, you will get a console log for the changed value while dragging and a final log when the user releases the slider. This approach ensures you capture the value at the end of the interaction. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To trigger an event at the end of an on change for an input type range, you can use the mouse down and mouse up events. First, capture the previous value on mouse down, then check for changes on mouse up. Alternatively, you can use the one change event alone to capture the last value of the range. For real-time updates, consider using the input event. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.